back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the movie The Lion King. Now this is a live action adaptation of the 1994 Disney animated film of the same name, which I remember seeing in the theaters back when it was originally released. I even went and saw it when they had it in 3D. I went and saw that version of it too, you know, and I always thought it was very very entertaining and good Disney film, you know. Even though I'm not too big on like the Disney animated films, you know, I always was like kind of a fan of that particular film, you know. Now this new version, which is a live action adaptation, turns out this is a very entertaining and an enjoyable film. I was surprised that I really did like it as much as I did. I actually think this is one of the best films I saw this year, you know, and I can't, I can't believe it, you know. It's actually really is cool seeing them taking like an animated film like that, you know, and actually making it into like a live action. Because they've already done it for like the Jungle Book, like Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, and Dumbo and so on. But it's just so amazing seeing them turn like an animated film. And it sticks so closely to like the way that the animated film was, like everything about it, like the way like the music was, like the characters, certain like scenes, like the plot and everything, even like the environments. It just looks so amazing and awesome, like the visual style of the film, how close it is to the actual like, animated film, you know. It's just literally like the animated film has been brought to life, you know. I truly was, th I truly thought that was amazing. Now this is also directed by John Farrow, and I thought he did a very good job on this, you know. Like, like I say, I don't want to go into it too much because if you haven't seen The Lion King, you know, or if you have seen it, it's still basically it was the same animated film, but just brought into like live action, you know. So you know, like you have like the cast, like you have like Donald Glover, like Seth Rogen, you know, um, Beyonce, James Earl Jones, he returns, provide the voice of Mufasa and so on, you know. Now I don't want to get into it too much, you know, because it's very similar to like, the, uh, the animated film, you know. But of course it's about like this young lion on that Simba, his father, like who is the king, Mufasa, he ends up being like murdered, you know. And if you go into what happens to it and all that, it'll kind of spoil it, you know, something over the touch and all that. But it's still very similar to the actual animated film, you know. Now the cast in the film, you have uh, Donald Glover who provides the voice of uh, Simba. I think he even sings the song too, like whenever he sang it. You have uh, Seth Rogen as a uh, Pumbaa. You also have uh, Beyonce as a, uh, I think, um, yeah, the love interest. I forget what her name Yeah, Nala, she's the actual love interest. You have uh, Alfred Wardar as uh, Mufasa's uh, wife, you know, as Simba's mother. Sarabi, yeah, and you also have a, uh, I forget how you pronounce his name, Shatawali Aji4 as the, uh, the antagonist of the film who is Scar, and that's, uh, and of course, you know, Scar is uh, Mufasa's brother, you know. So, yeah, uh, like I say, uh, I don't want to get into it too much, because this is basically just the animated film brought to life, you know, but this really was a superb film, like, the pace number was excellent. Like I said, so many things I want to touch on, but I'm just going to leave it at that, you know. Like, uh, the action scenes were awesome with them, like, like when Simba was fighting, like, Scar and so on. Even, like, other action scenes that were, like, very entertaining, you know. Even, like, the scenes with, like, the hyenas and so on. And it's so, like, close to, like, the actual animated film. Like, the way it is, like, even, like, the look of it, just, like, you know, <laughs> I don't want to get into it too much. But I was actually surprised that I really did enjoy it as much as I did. And I think this is, so far, from my opinion, the best of the uh, live action uh films that are based on Disney animated films that have been brought to live action. I think this is the best one so far that I've seen, you know. I truly really did enjoy this, you know. Now in the end of The Lion King, I'm gonna give this a, a ooh, I kinda wanna give it a, I really am surprised I read it. And this is one of the best films I saw this year. But surprisingly, and this is like very rare on my channel, you know, I'm actually gonna give this a, a A, you know. I really did enjoy this a lot, you know. Like the look of it, like I say, I, I was really surprised, like, and it's just so awesome seeing that being brought to life, you know. I would love to see more animated films, you know. That's not necessarily Disney films, but really brought to life and really stick that close to it, you know. It's like they actually took it and just made it real, you know. So, yeah, I'm giving the Lion King an A, and that's a surprise, you know. That's very rare on my channel, you know. I very rarely give a movie that, uh, that rating, you know. It had to be really good, you know. So yeah, The Lion King, I'm giving this an A, and I would definitely recommend it for fans of like the animated film. And I was hearing about the other reviews, like the critics were actually saying that it were actually hidden, you know, I think the reviews for this were like mixed, you know. But apparently like the fans, like the movie going public actually did like it more than what the critics were actually saying. I'm surprised that I did, you know. So I'm giving this an A, you know, I would definitely recommend it for fans of The Lion King, for fans of the, the animated film, you know. I would definitely recommend it. And this is easy, for my opinion, one of the best films I've seen this year, for my opinion. And I was surprised, you know. So, uh, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.